Hello class, my name is Morgan Anderson. All of us have a person that comes to mind when asked about a leader. If you do a Google search on leaders, you will find images such as Martin Luther King, Steve Jobs, or other notable, notable figures. Great leaders can also be people that are not famous or well known. When I am asked about leadership, the first person that comes to my mind is Kathy Smith. Yes, you have never heard of her because she is not well known or famous, but what you do need to know about her is she is a leader and someone I want by my side. In my paper, I used her as a leadership example and, and compared her knowledge, skills, and ability to the five primary components of relational leadership model. Kathy is the Director of Support and Administration for Developmental Disabilities. She was a mentor to my mother when she worked in the same agency. My mother described Kathy as her go-to person at the agency, whether you had a question or an issue or needed something resolved or just needed support. She was always my mother's go-to. The relationship leadership model focuses on five primary components. The first leadership component is purposeful. In her job, Kathy is responsible for implementing changes that occur to the state level of the Department of Developmental Disabilities in coordinates compliance with all procedures and guideline, guidelines. Kathy definitely personifies purposeful with her can-do attitude. The second leadership component is inclusive. All aspects of Kathy's jobs involve this component, as she has to open up to different differences and work with a variety of individuals and some who have disabilities. In her many, in her current and previous roles, she has shown and shown time again that she values all opinions and has great listening skills and truly believes that everyone can make a difference in the world. She has worked very hard to make sure elements with disabilities and are accepted in the community, whether it be the employment or pursuing hobbies. The third component is empowering, which I think is Kathy's strongest quality. She is successful in working within a team purpose or on her own sharing information with others when needed. According to my mother, when she worked with Kathy, Kathy was always considered the gatekeeper, the person who kept the group working in a smoother manner, given affirmation when needed, and making sure participants was able to express their ideas. The fourth component of the relationship leadership model is ethical. Kathy has a strong knowledge of this code of ethics regarding working with persons with developmental disabilities, along with the rights of the persons with the de developmental disabilities. She has shown a strong commitment up to socially responsible behavior and is considered a trust trustworthy, authentic, responsible leader who puts benefits to others over her own self. Finally, the last component is process-oriented. Kathy stated that there are recent changes in the individual service teams to more person-centered planning. This enables the person with a disability to find, uh, to find out what is important to them and for them to be by discovery, which is listening, observing, and talking to individuals, families, and other important people in their lives. Kathy strongly values this process as it gives more, more say in their planning. In completing this interview with Kathy Smith, I learned insight to why she chose this field and suggestions for someone who is thinking about pursuing this field. Her catalyst was growing up with an aunt who had Down syndrome. She shared her story and stated her grandma was, was one of a small group of parents who worked to make the community aware of individuals with developmental disabilities that were being excluded from public schools. Kathy attended fundraisers and other functions at a young age. She also volunteered at agencies in her high school. Her advice to students is to volunteer and really get involved with developmental disabilities to determine if it is something you would enjoy doing for the rest of your life. She also said choose a college or university that is known for their special education and go for it. I enjoyed my interview with Kathy Smith, who is the Director of Support and Administration administration services of developmental disabilities. I was really able to relate with her skills and knowledge to the relationship leadership model and that we read about in our class. 
I was able to look at the five components, purposeful, inclusive, empowering, ethical, and process-oriented, and relate them back to Kathy's leadership style. Thank you.